this is good. And he gets like a paper thrown. And he's like, what? And he just says, good job. He's like, oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Or he just gets a paper thrown at him because he's a four highs, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. That'd be good writing. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Volume 1, the anime and manga podcast where we review the first volume of a brand new manga each week. My name is Josh Tryon Michaels, and today, as always, I am joined by... Megan, good neighbor, Perrine. Cody, hair trigger, Decker. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Volume 1. Today, we are discussing Volume 1 of World Trigger. This is a series that has been highly recommended to us by a lot of you viewers, you listeners. And it's a series that we finally got around to reading and are here to talk about today. Um, I did not know much about this series going into it, but before we give our thoughts, today we were thinking that our AI, what a more fitting episode than this one, for our AI to take over and read the synopsis for us. So, Volume One Chan, if you can, if you're, if you're, uh, uh, synopsis synaptic sensor circuits are oh. uh, online. Yes, yes, Cody. Yes, <laughs> yeah. if, if, if they're all calibrated and online, if would what's you... online and calibrated per your <laughs> synopsis <laughs> synaptic forgot. sensor circuits <laughs> see, uh, are online. See, si, would you mind? Uh, would you mind reading the synopsis for us, please? Yeah. Okay. In Japan, a gate to another dimension has opened, giving violent alien life forms known as neighbors the opportunity to cross into our world and wreak havoc. To combat this new threat, the organization Border was founded. Their soldiers use highly advanced weapons known as Trigger to fight the neighbors and preserve the peace. Mm. Wow, thank you, Volume One Chan, for that. That was great. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Short and sweet synaptic synopsis uh, circuit sensor. Dang! Heck yeah. Uh, Yeah, dude. Um, I didn't know anything (laughs) about this series, um, but just off the synopsis alone, I'm intrigued. I'm interested after reading it. um, I really enjoyed this um i i I don't know how you guys felt about it or what your sort of relationship or how much you guys knew about it was going into it but um this you know series first came out in 2013 24 volumes it's it's current it's still coming out i believe as of this recording and uh there's an animated adaption as well which i only watched a little bit of the first episode of so we'll talk a little briefly just about the Mm -hmm. tone of that compared to the manga but what did you guys think of it how did you guys feel what did you guys know about it going in uh, it's always been kind of like on my radar just because it has been going on for a while. Like the anime came out in 2016 and the last season, I believe, was in October 2021. So it's been like... Well, oh, the third oh. season premiered this yeah, year in October yeah. 2021. So, yeah. I mean, it has three seasons. I know the main character has white hair. I've seen him around. I just knew nothing really about it. Um, but I did enjoy the manga. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I was like, oh, I've seen this anime around. Maybe I should just watch the anime. But like now reading it, I think I'd prefer to read the manga yeah, for over sure. the anime. For sure. <laughs> Unless someone's like, no, this is it. But yeah. Yeah. Cody, what about you? Um, I was highly offended. Whoa. That <laughs> is the opening. I was like, that's very And it's just like, you just kept happening. <laughs> I was like, there's the like glasses thing. I kept being like, it's my favorite part of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that was the highlight for me. Yeah. You know, cause there's, you know, in a lot of other series, there are characters with glasses and they just, they just get to walk around and act like, like- normal people, like normal people, <laughs> yeah. right? Like no normal one calls people. them out for no, it. No, no. And it's like, this is super realistic. It was a highlight for me. Yeah. Um, and I think it really built the world and it put a lot of reality. Real. Yeah, yeah, I made it, uh, you know, full. Yeah. So no, mm-hmm. no, that's not the vibe. I, I got a, I got a completely different vibe. That, oh, like, that's weird. The Were writing you was the right just. Translation, um, or? Uh, well, I read every translation because like, oh, tra- I was like, oh, this must be wrong. Oh. And surely that's a stand-in. It doesn't yeah. translate properly. So right. I started going right. through. Yeah. Oh, right. I read the manga because like notes, and he wanted to make sure. <laughs> That he oh, uh, oh, put you read emphasis. The notes? Yeah, I read the notes, and he wanted to make sure to put emphasis on that because it was a super important part of the world. Um, and it yes. was like, and, and maybe for you, like it was a trigger per se, <laughs> but for me, okay. it really built up um, and, and made me love the series even more. Well, I, I, what, what, what I think right, is right, really right. the mm-hmm. most important, it, my, my, the main flaw mm-hmm. with it, sure. mm. you know, the constant four eyes joke mm. is it's not even funny, right? I mean, it's not, <laughs> okay. it's not I even mean, funny. I mean, it's interpretive. It's the, I, thought, <laughs> yeah, I thought the humor funny. really landed in yeah, this Yeah, I thought the humor was yeah. like a no, standout. No, I yeah. thought, I really, I, I yeah. thought it was. Maybe you're looking at it through different lenses than me and Josh. Yikes. (laughs) 
No, I liked it. I really, liked <laughs> it. I really, I was surprised because uh, even yeah. even some things where I'm like, oh, that's gonna happen, and then the writing like, and like it still happened, but I was still yeah. like caught off because I'm like, oh, the like the story like did its own thing, and like yeah, that yeah. happened. Yeah. Like, oh, me too. Yeah. I felt almost the same way. I felt like this is a series that you know seemed very familiar. It came out before Kaiju Number Eight and stuff, but it had a little bit of that sort of vibe to it uh, at times. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, in, in other series too. But I think it did whatever it was setting out to do very well, and I liked it. I was surprised by the writing, the twist of sort of the first chapter, which isn't really a twist, but that the character that we've been set up to believe is this this you know nerd and this geek and this dweeb who would usually become the character that over the course of the first chapter would gain these abilities or mm -hmm. or try to enter into this you know organization already had done that and already but then yeah. he wasn't yeah he wasn't the most power yeah it, it mm -hmm. kept doing things i'm like oh wow this i this feels like it was going to be generic mm -hmm. and then it just it pulled it off in a way that i was like really surprised by yeah, yeah and the writing for sure highlights that and like just the characters in general like i really was like oh i know who they are like they're yeah. established like the main two characters i was like oh i'm not even annoyed at them one bit yeah i mean <laughs> even though they are archetypal i guess at, at, at points they all do still feel very fresh at the same time and i get who they are i i, I like them and, uh, you know, the art was cool, too. It's a series that uh, is very popular and has been around for a long time. And I'm surprised I haven't really heard much about it or seen it at all or ever, you know, read it before. But I really, really enjoyed it a lot more than I kind of expected. Yeah. To. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I, I've been wanting to get back into, like, transformation. Yeah. Su super power stories. I'm yeah. like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, this is, like, what I've been wanting in a story for a while. There's, like, limits to it. They explain it. And I even when they do that exposition dump, I'm like... I, like in the back and I'm like, I feel like I should not be happy with this. It was yeah. fun the way that it was like uh, they're explaining it to him, even though he kind of already mm -hmm. knows it was they were like doing it in a funny way. The comedy lands mm -hmm. like the faces are funny and it, you faces, do believe yeah. that they're like high school kids. Not yeah, just, and that's like, another thing, too, like for this being like a, a shown in or for being an action, you know, manga. It was the humor was was there. The mm -hmm. humor landed and was good and, and always made me laugh, uh, especially with the the character that we meet Yuma with the white hair like he he was really funny and i think that was for me i think lost a little bit in the anime because of course having just seen a little bit of the dub the the anime is sort of made in a way or at least the dub is dubbed in a way that makes it feel like it's geared more towards like a younger boy audience yeah it felt so? like it felt like kind of like a like a 90s like yeah. like a pokemon type because they would like recap and there'd be like a like and, a, a and person it, that would explain the plot before the episodes yeah. and be like, like a way, they're going yeah. to fight like it was it was very will yuma be able yeah. to defeat yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah it was yeah. kind of a weird direction which isn't the vibe that i got from reading it at all yeah no it felt uh and that was the thing too where it kept being like it felt like surprisingly serious and mature about the, mm -hmm. the the stuff happening that's the thing the manga did feel more mature than i thought it was going to be but the anime felt less mature mm. in, in a weird way and again i only watched a, a little of the dub yeah and maybe it was heavy-handed or it wasn't well, done the dub well yeah i, I mean it was in 20 <laughs> 2016 <laughs> yeah i've come a long way and so, yeah, I'm sure maybe it's gotten better. The animation was cool. The um, monsters, the neighbors, as they call them, were 3D. But, you know, everything else was, you know, animated in a, in a 2D animation style. And it was pretty good an animation wise. But um, like I said, I'm sure it gets better, too. Yeah, it did a thing I really liked, too, with playing with, like, the bullies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Where they're like, uh, what, do you have amnesia or something? Where it's like, yeah, because, like, every time you'll see... You'll see where they'll like beat up the boys and the boys are still the next like, hey, nerd, like what are you they, he like did a backflip and like yeah. beat you up. Yeah, they had mm -hmm. a they had a pretty clever way of explaining that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I liked that. I liked uh, I, almost everything in this first volume. There was little I had, if anything, that I had an issue with at all. The only thing was just me thinking like, oh, I don't tend to like an exposition where someone's just being told the plot. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother me in this. I It was just a thing. The only time I took a note where I was just like, Oh yeah, like they they just you know someone just tells them yeah the background yeah mm -hmm. and I don't know why that is because I felt similarly like it's a lot of information that another character is just telling another character what I, what I was thinking was because they teased it enough in the beginning without any information uh -huh. so that by the time they do give the exposition of I was like well I do want to know this 
Yeah. yeah. And tell the, me again. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the first hint when the guy gets injured and you see a little bit of smoke coming out. And I'm like, oh, is, is that him specific? What's going on with him? And then like they reference things vaguely and then someone else gets injured and like a similar effect. And so by the time they explain, I'm like, okay, all right, now I want to know this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like you said, like every twist, and I even hesitate to call all of them twists, but every twist and revelation, turn, the story or revelation, yeah, that the story had or, or took, like it, it, it always surprised me. And if it didn't surprise me, I still liked it a lot. Like even that twist or revelation that um, there are humans on the other side and stuff like that, which is in the first chapter, was uh, something that still surprised me uh, and and made me really constantly scratch my head and, and think to myself like why haven't i why haven't i been reading this for way longer yeah and i really like the thing i like what they did with that character i was surprised the white-haired one i was yeah, surprised yeah. that i liked him at all because i kept yeah. thinking like normally i wouldn't i don't know um when, and like he comes in and people are like why do you have white hair i was like yeah yeah i just like so yeah people quite like he looks abnormal yeah he has yeah. different hair color he's like yeah. well, i'm from a different I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, he's like literally an alien to them. Yeah. And he feels like an alien in Japan. It's the, I don't, like, you know, it doesn't take me out of a story, but I am like, okay, that person has like giant purple hair and no one's. Yeah, no one's talking about it. It's the, it's never like an issue, but I I like it if someone points out like, you have a inhuman hair color. You're aware of that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he too was so funny because when they do the fish out of water story too, and, and, you know, that's been done to death as well. But uh, for whatever reason, this was funnier to me. Like mm-hmm. just the fish out of water constantly being in a new place, not knowing how the rules of the world that they're in work. And th- that can be over used like uh, to like be overly comedic. But here it was used subtly enough and in a way that I, I just think is the main character like uh, Kuma, like. I mean, Yuma, Yuma, Kuga, Yuma, yeah. Yuma Kuga. <laughs> um, he's like a, I mean, he's not dumb. Like they say, right. I mean, they like explain that like, yeah, he's kind of like juvenile and like kind of doesn't get it. And like, but he gets it. He's just like, I know you guys are lying to me. I know you guys are clearly doing this. I'm going to act this way yeah. and get like justice because you guys are dumb. Yeah, he, yeah, he's kind of like accidentally a badass a lot of the time too. And I don't think that like he's necessarily always trying to be. But when the guys see his money and, and try to yeah, tell him that. like, oh, hey, man, you broke my leg. Like I got to go to the doctor when he just kind of bumped into him. And then he goes, oh, OK. And then he breaks his leg for real and throws the money on him. I was like, yeah, oh, my God. Was- and that, that that's the where it elevates it from like the usual thing of him being naive and you accept oh he's, mm-hmm. he's just gonna give him the money and, be mm-hmm. like, and then the guy's like no, you don't do that you don't give money exactly yeah and instead he goes like oh i'm giving you money because i broke your leg i better make sure your leg's broken then huh? <laughs> and you are it is like is is he like i took it as him like threatening like, yeah, he, yeah. Was mm-hmm. much, he was like much more on the ball yeah than the naive guy mm-hmm. but i think it's kind of what both of you are saying and what you just said megan too yeah he's not dumb he doesn't know the the rules of the world but if we went to another world like we wouldn't lose all of our common sense. Like we yeah. still have a feeling for, especially if they're humanoid or human, you know, creatures or people, how, you know, they can be manipulative yeah. Or, yeah. or lying. Or- Cause he says like, there's bad people in my world too. It's not everyone's good. Like it's like the same as here. So he understands like good and bad. It's not like an alien who's known nothing for its whole life and been like, what is gold? Who are people? Like uh, he yeah, knows. Yeah, those, yeah. What is food? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he, food. he understands. You, I hate that. Yeah. Thing. I see where aliens like you mean you chew your food and eat? like yes it's a living creature aliens would have clothes and shit especially when they Stuff. when the aliens look like the humans too. yeah they have yeah. teeth which means they yeah. chew the yeah it'd be different if they were like tentacle monsters that were sentient but this yeah. is a per this is an alien that it's looks a exi- human yeah with like pointy ears and yeah. like you're yeah. telling me you put gasoline in cars that you- yes yeah. yes aliens would have understanding especially if they're so. a superior race that's far more technologically uh-huh. advanced they'd understand like how an engine works yeah they, they would all they would they would have a record of their history so they yeah. would know how society develops yeah it's kind of like marvel a little bit in what way uh, you know, like the portals opening and all the mo- uh, aliens coming out, but like those aren't like everyone's just like, they do oh, look these like are like all aliens, aliens. From flying yeah. from the first Avengers. Yeah, they're movie. like, oh, these are all a- well, aliens all are, and it's like, no, there's like so there's planets of civilizational people like using money, <laughs> making laws. Like they're not all just like monstrous aliens like these people think that they are. Yeah, I love how that's like so hard for like so many people are just like it's yeah. aliens. They're all exactly this way. Yeah. And they all like have this exact same environment and they are there's like two animals there. They well, all yeah. look like each other too. We've talked yeah. about it, I think, on a previous episode, but the oversimplification of how worlds work is just easier for writing, I think, because even on our world, 
you know, the difference in cultures, the difference in societies, the difference in people, currency, language, everything. But whenever you have a sci-fi race or planet in another story, they all have to be the same. Everybody I mean, from that planet has yeah, to think and, and be the same. Like that's not even one Earth isn't even like that. Like no, what but do that's you my mean? Point. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It doesn't, well, that's yeah. what. How that's is like, that not? I was thinking it was the great trick in any like story or game where like, oh, we're going to the desert planet. Now we're going to the rainforest planet. Now we're going to the winter planet. Yeah. If you remove planet, you can just say, well, we're going to the desert. Now we're going to the rain. Yeah. You, it could easily take place on the same. The only thing that makes it a space story is they add shots of a ship flying. Yeah. But if they just included a shot of a guy driving a car, it would be just be on the same planet. Yeah. Yeah. And that happens all the time. And I think it is just easier to write that way. It's maybe a little more difficult to, to really flesh out a world's like, Soci different societies and different, you know, I don't know, uh, cultures, cultures, you to, and yeah. you have to have like different things. So you have to write a bunch of different things instead of like they grew up on a desert yeah. and they all wore this clothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, to my understanding, this happens on the same world, right? Like his world is the same. It's just it, there's just a border between it. That's not the vibe that I got. You got uh, it's like out in space. I thought it space, was like a, a different dimension. portal to yeah. another realm. Another uh, world. Yeah. Okay. So there's the border is a term for that, like you know, because it is a border that yeah. you walk through and it takes you to another universe. Mm. Yeah. From uh, what I got from it was that border is just the name of the organization that is, and they're a little suspicious too. The way that they yeah, show up on the scene. Yeah, they're super sus. Yeah, they're sus. They're um, sus. But yeah, that they that they just had or developed. Just in time, or in a short amount of time, the the techn technology they needed to defeat these creatures, um, but that they're from Earth, and that maybe they have contact or have had contact with this this other world, um, but that all border is 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 just a an organization and their base. They have a technology that when these portals open, they're forced to be opened near this thing. When usually they would be opened up all throughout Japan or whatever. Well, the funnel system. Yeah, Yuma yeah. says that too. He's like, well, you, like, this wasn't yours. Like, these are from the neighbors to begin with. And yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> like, you're not supposed to know. Like, they're sus already. And plus the mind wiping thing is sus too. Like, everyone knows what they are. Why would they need their minds wiped from seeing one up close, you know? Yeah, part of me understands why, you know, uh, an organization would. Because they'd be triggered. Would, they'd be triggered. They would be. Uh, <laughs> like you know you have to Cody oh, 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 yeah he's triggered <laughs> on one hand I understand why a, a, an organization would if they have the technology the capability to erase minds that they would just oh if the government could mind yeah, wipe sure. they would oh, do it yeah. you know, they're, they're, try they're working on it right now oh, they probably that's, like, that's not perfected. a conspiracy theory they probably theory. used it on a survey we don't even yeah. know yeah mm -hmm. 100% dude we've seen aliens it's not yeah it's not great well okay well that's a little different but like maybe they put it in the rain dude and every time like raindrops like we come in contact with them it seeps into our pores and we forget things like what I don't know oh <gasps> I forgot <laughs> yeah you forgot I like I like that conspiracy theory it's like don't you see man do you remember ever seeing aliens that's, no yeah. It's because they it's, that's that's dude. how they wiped your mind. That's how you See? know. No, that's how leaders rise to power, though. Dude. <laughs> they, that's something that I feel like has been used before. Um, I guess we can start going through it. I, I was so pleasantly surprised by by all of it. Um, it's uh, it's a great series, and we'll start going through it a little bit more chronologically, beat by beat. Um, but yeah, it starts with that little bit of exposition at the beginning, like you said, not enough to give away everything, but enough to know what you need to know to get into the story, which is that. These portals randomly, these black holes randomly started opening. Monsters started coming through. Human weapons stood no chance. Um, but this organization called Border shows shows up and uh, and has weapons that can defeat these monsters. And they set up a base. Um, and they are kind of just like running it right now. It also opens, opens, like cold opens on our main character in some sort of battle or, or, you know, surrounded by debris and another border agent looking back at him triumphantly on top of this or heroically on top of this monster, uh, looking back at him and saying like, you all right there, four eyes. That's uh, when the writing that took is. a huge <laughs> for me personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when it, uh, it kind of dipped a little. And you know how they do that? Why? Because that fool's probably dead. Uh, you know, that fool's dead. And it's probably his older brother. Yeah, it's probably dead because it happened like twice when the other. Well, the other character did say something similar that made him triggered. I mean, he's had four eyes again, yeah. um, which had uh, triggered Cody and triggered the main character. <laughs> I'm going to love that there's going to be people being like, he's too sudden. Like, no, oh, he's like that. Don't get I'm being sarcastic about those. 
Well, you're not. Um, oh. yeah. Well, I'm not. But like, <laughs> oh. I'm trying to pretend that I'm joking. Oh, right. Uh, it's a great mechan mechanism. Great it's mechanism. A, it's a great mechanism. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So he. I think that that guy is either. Um, he, that guy was either a border agent, or maybe he was a neighbor, or maybe he's related to Yuma. Maybe he's Yuma's dad, or maybe that's the. We don't know who he is, but there's already a little bit of a mystery, and then we get that exposition, and then it cuts to um, our main character. Whose name I think is uh, Osamu Mikumo, and he's a guy with glasses. I like you saying, I think his name is, and then you read it off the. Because I don't. Number one, I don't trust my handwriting, and That's number fair. two, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Oh, you're for sure <laughs> pronouncing it wrong. For sure, both. No, that was pretty good. How do you know? I know how to pronounce it. She's good at pronouncing um, words. Pr pronounce the name, and then we'll see if you do it better. Yeah. Let me see. You want to try it? It's right here. It's the second to last bullet point right there. Yeah, your handwriting's bad. Better yeah. Than mine. Megan? Megan? Osamu Mikumo. That sounds better than what you did. Osamu Mikumo. It does sound a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> um, Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> so, yeah, he's in class and, uh, you know, you know, they're, 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 they're talking about, uh, um, these these monsters or whatever and uh they're they're being a, a transfer student that's going to be coming in mm. to class um and we get a little shot of this mysterious transfer student having just been hit by a car and surviving and telling and this is already where it's funny where he's uh tr he's like trying he's apologizing to the person who hit him for ruining their car because he's fine. It's no big deal. It's, it's weird to him that someone would be reacting that way, I guess. Uh, and then he enters. He's the white-haired Yuma. Um, and uh, <laughs> That's the one where he, like, the police is like, I need to take a report. Yeah. And, I and think then it, he's like, my address? Uh, and then you see like an yes. earpiece, like, mm -hmm. tell him an address. Like, yes. I was like, that's when I was like, oh, that's. He yeah, says then. Yeah. Yeah. And we see before he shows up to our main character defending a, a, a nerd in class who's being bullied. For probably j just wearing glasses. <laughs> just being a nerd. Yeah. yeah classic yeah. nerd shit. Just classic nerd shit. Yeah, I didn't yeah. believe any of this. This felt very... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I, like I, oh, is this the alternate dimension? Uh, right. Are these the neighbors? And yeah, that's the mm -hmm, twist. Mm -hmm. um, but speaking of twists, they set him up to be this like heroic person who has a you know strong moral code and how he's not going to tolerate bullies making fun of these like weaker kids. So... Uh, automatically having read so many stories that feel like this, I'm thinking, okay, this is a guy who's going to like want to become a border agent or he's going to be like, and they're going to be like you, you it, have yeah. to like, but me, I don't know. You not, have the know. best trigger of all. What? Yeah. And it's like your, your repressed emotional state is actually yeah. good for powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to take a completely different direction than it did. Um, the main character meets Yuma who comes in and he's already kind of kind of weird um, and seems to be reacting to these bullies a little bit differently. He's also reacting aggressively, but he's uh, it's it's an innocent aggression. I, I, I feel like he has laxed yeah. aggression. He's yeah. like, oh, like we're doing It's just don't worry about it, dude. We flipped that piece of paper at you because it's like a thing, like a thing that we do in Japan. That's right, how you guys? say hello in Japan. Right, yeah. guys. Haha. -ha. And he's like, oh, that's how you say hello. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. completely obliterates him because they know he knows like these guys are just BS. It already sets up Yuma as being a, you know, naive juvenile character, but one who's not going to let himself be walked all over mm -hmm. or taken advantage of. Uh, and I thought that was cool, too, because, again, the fish out of water character tends to be the person who just allows all these bad things to happen to him. And it's played for comedy. And it's yeah. played like comedy and just makes him look dumb. Yes. I got the vibe, too, that as soon as he caught on to what people were doing, he was kind of like, uh, not vindictive, but he, that's mm -hmm. that's why he like threw it harder. Because yeah. once he caught on, he's like, you're not, that's, that's, you're insulting me by both doing that and by thinking I, I'm too dumb to realize that. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like liars. So he like, yeah. hits, he like does it as like revenge. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. And I love that about him, too, because... To, true to his character, he grew up around, uh, uh, you know, war on a lot of battlefields. Yeah, like, yeah that was a funny idea. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. guys have hobbies, music, culture, uh, war. <laughs> I was like, what? So it is cool, too, that he also he's also aware that he probably could severely injure these people. And there's always that character who can do that. And he's like, 
he, he you know, tolerates everything because he's like, I can't unleash my true power on mm -hmm. these, you know, innocent people. But he's like, I can uh, unleash just enough to like, you know, hurt them a little bit enough so that they stop bothering me. So they or stop me being bad people. Stop being bad people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought that was really cool. They, uh, the main character even has this cool line where he tells him like, yeah, you're not supposed to do that as the hero, as the, as the, as a, as a, as a, as a good person, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to ignore bullies. Um, and you're supposed to be the better person, the bigger person. I don't like that moral in stories. Well, no, but Yuma tells him, he's like, well, then they're never going to leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why, yeah. that's why the writing always like surprised me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm, you know, cause the guy's like, you have to just let it happen. That's what schools tell you. Yeah. Or he's like, you know, you have to uh, abide by the laws and he's like, well, they're not abiding by the laws. So <laughs> where's yeah. the logic? And he's like, damn, this kid is logical. He's <laughs> yeah. <not dumb."> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so it just, it leads them to this, uh, fight that they're having after school that that is outside of the borders jurisdiction i guess a a, a danger zone where mm -hmm. they're not going to be able to be at in time if some monster were to show up and of course a monster shows, shows up. up yeah shows up shows and again out. it really was a twist for me that this character the main character was already a border agent mm -hmm. it was for me it was like i figured because I've, I've seen a sto stories like that where it's like, oh, the person who lets themselves get bullied turns out to like have the power. So it's like, oh, that's what I went in assuming was going to happen. But then the story like then focuses on the white haired guy. And I forgot that was my assumption. So like when they reveal he was that I was still surprised. Yeah. So I was like, oh, like that still like I went and thinking that was going to happen. The writing like kind of tricked me into forgetting. Yeah. And I was surprised, too, that like, oh, he's not like very strong. at. This and then job. there was that part, too. <laughs> yeah. where he's just like he could try, but he won't succeed. It yeah. seemed like you could probably beat up those bullies is like where you kind of yeah. max out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, again, something that took me by surprise. He. uh He's still someone who has a strong moral compass and really wants to stand up and fight, even though he knows he's probably going to lose. And so he, he goes up against this monster and, uh, you know, there's, a, there's that cool moment where you get to see how these triggers kind of work where he just, and that was cool too. Small, small note. But again, like you mentioned just that little line about someone saying, oh, his white hair makes him look out of place or different. But there was another line in the very beginning where, one of these students who is a fan of the border agents very early on in like the first couple pages was like, I want to be a border agent. Watch me trigger on. And he's just like, he's like a fan who's already, you know, using the catchphrase that I'm sure all the border agents use. And so when you get to see like the main character use it later, I don't know. It just like, I felt like I was already kind of a fan too in a weird way. <laughs> yeah. That feeling of like, oh, he said the line. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was even, really weird even though I had no idea that was the line until a character mentioned that that's yeah. the line. I'm like, I'm like, and then the, he does. I'm like, yeah. Well, yeah. That's like the expedition dump again. It's like this, these kids being like, didn't you know that like this <laughs> happened? He's like, yeah, that was crazy. And he's like, my house was gone. Like they're all like sharing their <laughs> yeah, experience yeah. versus just like, did you know that actually is it was or just like so much better versus the teacher teaching the class and just like having a lesson on you know <laughs> this neighbors. again yeah. yeah yeah everyone knows yeah, yeah. I was also, people lost their lives yeah. because of this they also don't hammer it into you that he's a weak yeah trigger user what do you call mm -hmm. that organization yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, rank c he's like yeah rank c. but they, they don't reveal that even yet yeah yeah the, the, yeah they don't go like you know for like five chapters being like the world's weakest Exactly. Or like even, They're just like, this is below your abilities right now because yeah. you're new. Yeah. Even all the kids or even all the bullies being like, you're nothing. You're just a rank C guy. It's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, that would have been yeah. it. That would have ruined it versus like them not even knowing. You yeah. have superpowers, then, but they're not that cool. Yeah. yeah. Loser. Yeah. yeah. Four eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that uh, wasn't directed to you. That was just in general. That one felt wasn't. No, I felt no, that, that one, was towards okay. me. There were some Tom? other ones that were, uh, <laughs> yeah. but that one wasn't. At the beginning of the episode, it was about you, but now it's not about you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right. They didn't hammer it. They didn't hammer it in. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like, I don't know. They like, again, you, you set them up to have you know this strong desire to want to help people so you think he's going to be powerful then he's weak then he's already i mean again it was just like kind of constantly flipping it up mm -hmm. it's on its head and surprising me and so of course then um you know yuma the white-haired kid has to step in and he also has a trigger technology ability and that thing that was talking to him is is a sentient sort of floating 
what looks like uh, biomechanical or like uh, I don't know how not biomechanical, but uh, some it just looks like a machine, but like, a, an like advanced. He's like a yeah. robot, like a nano drone. Yeah, maybe yeah. like a nano sort. And of. that was the interesting part because he has to ask that to use the trigger. Yeah, and then it like forms like a battle suit around him. Yeah. Which was surprisingly cool. Because, again, it just seemed like a black suit, but it somehow it just felt cooler. Yeah, yeah. it looked different than the other guy's trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, again, yeah, he has to ask permission. And the the whatever it is always tells him, like, that's not up to me to decide. Like, you have to decide. And um, so, it's you know, it's a, it's a cool moment when that happens and he's able to defeat this neighbor, this monster, and uh, save everybody. Um it's 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 again a really cool moment for me too when because all the time you know like you said with the bullies and everything um they never they never really explain why the bullies continue to just be assholes all the time um but here it's because and we talked about it in the beginning of the episode the border agency has has wiped their minds or for the day mm -hmm. yeah. and but like and like other people will remember so they're like oh why are they going why are they still bullying them? i don't remember they broke their leg last time yeah 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 mm -hmm. and so for me it's starting to feel again what i liked about it was mystery on top of mystery right the, i think the the writer purposely set set up that the border agents showed up on the scene in a very suspicious way now they're being more suspicious by wiping you know the minds of of, of civilians on top of the fact that Yuma reveals after everything, after the fight, that like they have a conversation, the main character in Yuma, about, oh, wow, you must be a border agent, too, because you have trigger technology as well. And he says, no, I'm a I'm a neighbor. <laughs> and again, it was, that was something I did not really expect. Or even like the build up too. he's just like, oh, so you're you're a border. No, I don't know. I don't know anything about the border. My dad told me to come here because oh, he yeah. knows someone in the border. Mm. Oh, so your dad's a border. No, no, my dad had nothing to do with the border <laughs> actually, uh, um, at all. I this is my dad's, but I'm I'm a neighbor actually. And yeah, he's like, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, they look like me. They all look like me. Those are the ones that you fight are like the war, like like machines, the war aliens. And that the, we built. the the, the I was also like, what the layer cool layer too that he knew the names of all of them and yeah. what to call them. But like they all to call all of them neighbors, and they're all maybe like you know, this class or this danger level, but they're yeah, all neighbors. It's a B class neighbor. Yeah. And he's like, oh no, that's a whatever, whatever, like, you know, bubble. Like it, it, it was just really cool. So again, that border is like either, there's no way that border is unaware that they're hiding from the world or from even mm -hmm. other border agents that there are humanoid or human people on the other side and that they are technically neighbors as well and the technology of triggers belongs to them so it's just like again mystery on top of mystery on top of revelation and reveal and it was a packed first chapter mm -hmm. oh yeah that was all in the first it was yeah, yeah. yeah. very yeah. uh the classic everything in the first chapter and then it's like all right do you want to continue yeah which again like um, to me like, this is this is how you hook somebody in a first chapter and to go back and even talk about it and how much information we were given but how it didn't feel like it was shoved down our throats mm -hmm. or it didn't feel like it was too much like i don't know i mean this is a really well done series really in first chapter well balanced in yeah. everything like the action was well balanced the comedy the exposition like everything was just like wrapped in perfectly in the first chapter where it could have been like three or four chapters where all this happened it was just like bam bam, bam. like fast moving the whole volume was yeah. pretty fast yeah i felt like it was really easy to get through the first mm -hmm. volume yeah, it did. It doesn't end on like a huge like cliffhanger. It does end on like finish the story in the next. Yeah, which I did want to know. Yeah, like, just I'm like, like get the next one. I'm like, well, I want to see the. What do you mean? I don't get to see that part. No. Yeah, I want to see that part. <laughs> and I'm intrigued, man. I want to know. I feel like again, it, it it tells you not only more about the world and and maybe the uh, secrecy of border, but also it 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 teases things that you assume and and feel confident that is that are things that are going to be delivered, like. We're going to learn more about what's on the other side, what's in the other world besides the neighbors or besides the monsters. We're going to learn more about border. We're going to learn more about the trigger um, uh, suits of not armor, but these energy, this, this energy armor, which we, energy jumpsuits. Yeah, which we do in the first volume even start to learn more about. But like uh, organ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a secret, invisible human organ. I like that they said everyone has it. This is like one of those things. Where yeah. I'm like, uh, I, you know, I don't like, oh, they're chosen or they're, yeah. the, mm -hmm. they're special. I like that. Like everyone, there's just a different potential that everyone has. It's yeah. like the appendix, you know? Yes. Well, like that's no the trigger. No one needs organ. it. That's the trigger organ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
That's why they they forcibly remove it because, because people's powers start getting activated. Because it gets activated and then you get triggered from the pain from the appendix. Yeah, and what's and happening? If you let it keep in, like you'll gain your energy, and that's what that's why the the system is set up to where they're like, oh oh, just go to the hospital, remove it. it you don't even need that organ. <gasps> Ooh, it's yeah, the and government. then they they capture those activated appendixes. They put them into their storage facilities and they grant them their agents and people. You have and it's called the uh, rich people eat them. And they pay for them to get powers. And then that's oh to my become God. more powerful. Oh my God. Yeah. Because what yeah, is how the much appendix? You, it, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. And it's give it's 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 linking back to your brain and it, it's giving you more percentage of how much brain power yeah. you can actually and you're, use. You're, you're you're entering a feedback loop as your yeah. mind starts comprehending more of the power that we all have inside. Yeah. Your appendix, aka your trigger organ, maybe mm -hmm. is also linked to why is it called think about this? Why is it called wisdom teeth? Okay, and why do they take them out? You know what I mean? And they don't let you keep <laughs> and they don't let you keep them. They're trying to make a stupid. Yeah, they're like, you don't and need, they you drug don't need, you. They you drug you up. You don't need those teeth and you don't need that organ. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's let completely harmless. You don't need it. It makes no difference if you have it, but we'll keep it. Yeah, and we'll, we'll keep take, them. Yeah. For what? Yeah. What do you need my to, teeth uh, for? Yeah, you don't need you don't need it. Throw them, throw them in the trash right now. No. And why are they why have they been called for centuries? I'm assuming. Wisdom teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, why don't they call them, you know, Dumb teeth or like unnecessary teeth. They're they should like call them bad teeth. Bad yeah, teeth. Uh, yeah. Let me get my bad teeth taken out. That Instead sounds my way wisdom teeth. Like that, they're rubbing in our faces. This is the uh, you wow. put the sunglasses on. You oh see my the God. truth. Thing. Revelation after revelation. <laughs> wow, dude. Operation after operation. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They've been at it for a long time, and we need to stop. We them. need to stop them now. Yeah, I feel like that could actually be a good premise for something. <laughs> yeah, we can maybe workshop it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's there. Plan, let me get some. It's there, yeah. but it's not. It has yeah. a very bad moral if people believe it. You know, I'm yeah. sure people believe it already. <laughs> I'm sure this is the not. This is not the first time someone someone's is, like, "I'm not yeah. falling for it." Don't get it. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like it was just a story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a like a that, that 70s show circle like yeah. revelation, <laughs> dude. <laughs> wisdom teeth, right? Wisdom teeth. <laughs> the, if they were bad for us, they'd call them stupid teeth. <laughs> I mean, the more you say it, <laughs> the more I believe it. The more it. I believe it. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't matter how much pain you're in. Keep your wisdom teeth yeah. and your appendix. No matter what the doctor says. No so matter what. <laughs> <laughs> is the doctor? Is wrong. Okay. The doctor is always wrong. You've heard wrong. of the doctor is in. The doctor is wrong. Doctor, <laughs> the doctor <laughs> is out of his dang mind. Uh -huh. The doctor's out. Of his mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Better delivery. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. The doctor's in on the job. The doctor's in on yeah. it. Yes. On it. Yeah. 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 The doctor's yeah. in on the conspiracy. Yeah. Great. Definitely the final punch up. Um, wow. Well, we're, we're we had covered a lot of truth. <laughs> um, I like I like the diagram, by the way, of the um so like it's or right again. it's it's right next to the heart and you see like a clear energy like trail that goes to their hand and then yeah. that's where like weapons form out of yeah because the his weapon does look like it is some sort of blade but with a a large energy field around it that's able to like extend and cut through the neighbor and was he explaining that or the uh this little replica i think the replica guy, guy it looked like puck a little bit it. huh yeah. had a puck face yeah yeah had a puck, a puck face. face and like the ears <laughs> yeah um, yeah, he explains it later, and that's when they go more into the Trion energy, which because that was also kind of confusing. And even though it was a red herring or it was something that was meant to make me feel like the character was in danger and had a, you know, was kind of like uh, walked back a little bit or he was able to, to come back from, it didn't feel like a slight. It didn't feel like it wasn't earned. It felt like, oh, okay, this is, I believe this. I buy this. If this is how these bodies try on bodies and these energies bodies work i didn't know that now i know that that's pretty cool i'm t speaking to when D he fights him uh another monster later when one appears at the school mm -hmm. and uh he fights that monster knowing full well that he's gonna die yuma tells him that he's he's not gonna be able to um to fight even monster. stand a chance he's like you need you need to be 20 of you in order to maybe even get close yeah. and you, you would assume he does it anyway yeah, and yeah. It, it, the the traditional way of doing that is he's like, what I need to do is believe in myself more. Yeah. That's always the problem. That's it. And then it, it, and I think he was like, oh no, he was right. I, so I see yeah. no chance. You get, you gets his heroic stuff where they're like, oh my god, and did you know he was a border agent? Yeah. yeah. But I like how they're also like thinking too. He's like, well, so can you just? And he's like, well, no, you can't because <laughs> I just told him not to. 
And then he even says like, maybe I could. He's like, but I can't. They're going to find me like immediately. Yeah. Like there is not, they're not as leaping into action with no consequences. Like even he's scared to do it because he's going to be reprimanded because it's against the rules. Was it explicitly stated or implied that like the monsters are hunting him specifically? Uh, it wasn't explicitly stated. It, it did feel like it might have been implied. That's my theory for why they attacked that school, which is like out of the bounds. Or yeah. They're hunting him. Well, I think she mentions like they're just popping up in random places. Like even but before they've he always was... popped up around him. Yeah. Oh, in general? No, I mean like the first one that was. Well, in now that he's here, maybe. But he said, yeah. he said before, like it's happened six times this week. And they're but popping we don't know how up. long he's been there. You know, so you think every time it's been around him? I'm just saying it's a it's a possibility that I would believe. My theory right now is there is he's being hunted because he, whoever he's supposed to get into contact with on the border side, they don't want an allegiance. Neither side wants uh, cooperation happening because mm. he's also saying you is also saying that these aren't just monsters, that these are like war machines, war mm -hmm. beasts, war beasts that are beasts. I hate. Saying uh, yeah. that word, beast. beast. It's like edited it. You beast know? Edited, edited, edited it. Edited, yeah. edited, 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 edited. Yeah. Beasts. Beasts. Uh, <laughs> I hate that sound. Beasts. Yeah. Beasts. But he's saying that they're clearly being, you know, controlled, piloted, used by smarter people. Mm. And so, I mean, it, it, it would make sense that they are being sent after him because they do keep popping up conveniently around him. But what I was uh, speaking to was when his, his arm gets chopped off. I thought for sure, you know, at first, well, did he lose an arm? Is he going to get like, some sort cool. of energy arm now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the black smoke, like, kind of like forming the silhouette of his arm. And like, if you can get a shadow arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have not seen a shadow arm in quite some time. Shadow. That would be awesome. But what happens is still cool. It's that, like, when they, you know, go through their transformation, it is this it's a body made of like try on energy that is mm. almost like a a projection or or energy field sort of generated thing so when that try on body runs out of try on energy it reverts back to your human form and it, so you'll rev, you you can almost like do as much damage to that body as you want until you can't use it anymore and then when it disappears even if your Trion body loses an arm, when you revert back, you'll still have yeah. your arm. Yeah, I like that little, yeah. this is like a little video gamey touch of like, super mode, you're out. You have to go back to normal mode until that, that meter refills. I love that. I love that. And really all that happened too, I, I just wanted to talk about that. So I kind of jumped to that and kind of just breezed over the few chapters or the chapter that happened right after the first battle, which was which was where we were talking about all the 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 stuff with the money and the fish out of water stuff happened and that was really a, a fun chapter but it was mostly just full of him trying to figure out like what money is and and how to use money and how to follow the rules of this world and this again was a very funny chapter uh, and didn't feel like something i'd seen a million times before he whips out his wad of cash everybody sees it um that's where the the guy and the leg breaking incident comes in and it's similar to the him flicking that ball of paper at the bully. Um, it's similar to that in, in that he's, he's, he's a lot smarter than I think people give him credit for a, cause he is not from there, but B cause he also looks like a child. Um, and he's not going to let people push him around. he keeps saying his, like his like line, which I really like that he uses multiple times is like, you people tell such bad lies or mm -hmm. something along those lines. Yeah, just to talk about that full scene too. Like, I, like the bullies like see him whip out all the money and they bump into like, oh, you you have to pay for medical yeah. expenses, and yeah. then he like he breaks his leg and then he gives him the money and it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was like them. That's a that's a pretty baller move to like break someone's leg and be like, yeah, for the expenses paid. <laughs> that was so cool. And then again, another guy tells him like, oh, my dad's in the hospital. He's gonna die. <laughs> And then he's like, you better not be lying to me. Uh, <laughs> you better not be lying to you me. You better not be lying to me. You know what me. happens when you lie to me? I broke that guy's legs. It's I, didn't pretty good, huh? I didn't know you I had know. that voice in I here. I know, I know, I know. It's you had that favorite. in your back pocket yeah, the, whole the whole time? time. You the come to me. That's really, <laughs> yeah. we've talked about mafia stuff I've before. Discovered yeah. it. I've just recently discovered this ability. Like what? This like, try on an <laughs> energy that I have in me. Oh my God. Is yeah. your appendix starting to. I got it back. Flare I went to the doctor. You, I got it back. got to put back in. <laughs> yeah. I got my wisdom teeth put back in too. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. There's no stopping, you know. <laughs> just try. <laughs> try uh, on. Oh. Apply directly to the try right on. side of the heart. Try off.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Try hard. <laughs> Try hard. <laughs> um, yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you try hard? Oh, wow! I thought you were. I thought you were calling me a try hard. <laughs> oh, no, that's too obvious. Oh, wow! Both of them. Wow. Both of them. Maybe it's too <laughs> obvious to you to see with your four eyes over there. Oh, what the heck was yeah. that about? It's just called a retaliation. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, it's that was a cool again. Chapter. The writing really takes weird dips in, in quality. <laughs> well, just it seems to be just at certain. Anytime points. the main character does stuff, no, I really like the joke. Anytime he talks, people are like shut up for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, it's a line that could have been mishandled and mm-hmm. not done well. Or he just feels like it is. he lets him call him four eyes for the longest time, and he's like, you know what? I'm okay. My name. That's not. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, I need to clear something up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that chapter again was was hilarious and and really well done. And then it gets into the battle at the school where he is he has to reveal to his classmates that he is a border agent because again a portal a black hole opens at school where it's not supposed to open, and that's where the ever. kids are ever. And and that's where they talk about the technology that border has created to like make the portals only open there. And that's where the kids are talking about how their houses have been destroyed, their lives have been destroyed. And how, you know, they admire the border agents and this and this and that. And also, it's been told to Yuma to keep his identity, to keep his trigger a secret. Because if the students find out, it could be trouble. And if the border agents find out, it could be a lot of trouble because he's technically a neighbor. And they don't know what they're going to do to him if they find out he's a neighbor. He's an illegal alien. Basically, yeah. Not basically, he is. Yeah. 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 In the most literal sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It could be one of your neighbors. Oh. Whoa, hello, neighbor. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That was good. <laughs> and <it's>, <laughs> thank you. I don't want to sit here too long. It was just a pleasant way of venting, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. more appreciating it. Than yeah. <laughs> I got uncomfortable and I tried to move on too fast. Um, <laughs> just, I can't just let it breathe. <laughs> yeah. breathe uh, you're just, right, you're right, you're right. It was, it was a joke. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, um, oh my God. Okay. Now it's, now it's too much. Now yeah, now it's too much. much. You don't know one. To just it's let a fine it line. Go. It's a fine line. You I'm gonna always, try hard. Okay. You always, there's the fine. <laughs> yeah. You have a huge. It can't just end. Marker. That yeah. Just... <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys saying what you said, oh. <laughs> and let's move on. But the portal opens by school. The black hole opens by school, and uh, again, this is where Yuma tells him he's not gonna be able to do it, even if there was twenty of him. So. He, you know, needs to just evacuate and run away like everybody else is. Mm-hmm. But again, because of his, you know, who it is and who he is and how he needs to help people. He says, I don't care if I die. There's no way the border agents are going to be able to get here in time because this is happening out of their sort of jurisdiction. So I need to hold it off for as long as I can, even if it means I die. Screw it. And uh, like you said, he gets his ass beat. He gets beat bad. Um, and there's that moment where Yuma's like, okay, well, I can't activate my trigger because Border will know. So how do I, how do I help him without activating my trigger? And the solution, which I thought was really cool, was to just use his trigger to beat the 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 neighbor. Um, and because if we haven't mentioned it, the triggers are like there are there are like devices. Uh, there, it's not something that's like in them Mm -hmm. um so he steals his his try on organ and then there's a trigger tech yeah which i'm assuming that triggers the ion organ or its energy yeah that's where it's gonna it starts getting a little yeah yeah so the trigger it triggers the organ yeah yeah it triggers the organ yeah (laughs) uh and so then we realize or find out and this is a really cool way to reveal this because again like you said cody they don't this whole time they haven't alluded to him being, he's definitely not strong, but they have never alluded to him being not a border agent. They let you think he is a border agent. He's just not a strong border agent. Yeah, I'm the, the world's weakest border agent, but he's got grit. <laughs> yeah, and it's not until this happens that you realize that he's not even a fully fledged border I agent. I really liked that scenario because he was like, just take credit for what I did. Yeah. And he's like, I wasn't supposed to do this. <laughs> yeah, I really, I, I really I can't. Yeah, because yeah. like, look, everyone likes you now. Everyone's praising. He's like, this was. I kind of broke the rules yeah. doing this at all. And, yeah. was, and I liked him being like, oh, I thought, I thought that would have been fine. He's like, no, yeah, no, no I'm going, I'm going to jail. <laughs> yeah, and he, he, you know, he right when he activates, uh, Yuma activates uh, the main character's trigger. He confesses to only being a trainee and that he's not supposed to use it. Um, and 
outside of border headquarters because he's still training and it's a C class. And, and usually stories like this get bogged down in classes way earlier on. And I like that. Yeah. I like that. It wasn't strict. It wasn't a power level thing either necessarily. It was like C class means you're a trainee. Yeah. It's an actual graduation system that like, it just means he's new. Yeah. And he has a train, uh, he has a, his trigger is for training only. So it's not that strong, but then somehow Yuma is able to still defeat this monster, this neighbor using this training trigger. That's only supposed to be used for like training exercises and Mm -hmm. stuff. So that's when the replica bot or whatever explains the try on energy and its organ and how certain people have more of it or less of it or can harness more of it or, or, or less of it. And, uh, yeah, he saves everybody. And that was a really awesome, again, line too. These characters are, are they feel, if they don't feel real, they just feel like really good characters mm-hmm. and well-written characters. Because to, to, to piggyback off what you said about, you know, um, him having to deal with the fact that he wasn't even supposed to use that weapon to save everybody, which was a choice he had to make. Yuma tells him, like, stop stop saying that I saved everybody. He's like, technically what you did saved everybody. What you did allowed all your classmates to escape. Yeah. I came in and I defeated the monster later, but they were already out of the building. They were already to safety. I just saved you. Yeah. He he wasn't, he didn't just say a dismissive joke. Yeah. Yeah. And then they were like, and he goes, "Mm." it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Like, yeah. You're right. You're this, logical. <laughs> yeah, like when you, yeah, like this is a great example of how you can really establish characters in a couple of chapters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like get me to be like, all right, well, that's like, that's my guy. You know, he's he's a little jokey sometimes, but you know, when it comes down to it, he's real, he's a good guy. Yeah. It makes me, you know, really look back at things that we've read before. And, you know, it, it's hard, obviously, when you're just re- reviewing or discussing a, uh, the first volume of something. To, to, it's hard sometimes to really feel like you're giving it the benefit of the doubt or if you're really being fair to it because it is just the first volume. And sometimes if you read enough first volumes that don't seem to be doing what a first volume should do, you start to question. Is Are they even supposed to be doing that? Yeah. And so really World Trigger is a great reminder of what can be done in a first volume and how a first volume should be handled because it it, it, it gives me a lot of like, Sort of like, I don't know, confidence in, in, in like what we're doing because this is how, this is how good writers can, can do it. And like, it's like it did its job because like, I feel like I'm in that world now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it it doesn't even, you know, it's not this thing like, oh, will I check it out? I'm like, well, I already, like, I know how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'll check more of it out because it showed me everything it has to offer there. Yeah. Um, this is where. Um, there's that whole interaction about him not not revealing he's not supposed to use that, and the border squad that's supposed to save them shows up. Yeah, the A rank, the A rank squad, and they're like celebrities, like they're all on like TV and stuff. Everyone loves them, and I guess one of like the the main guys, like one of the A rank agents, he's like, "Did you use this? Like, did you do this?" And he's like, "Yeah, I did. Uh, I did." He's like, dude, good call. Like, great call. This You saved a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And my brother and sister are here. So, good Yeah, cool. my brother and sister go to this school. Yeah. So, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it's about justice, right? Like, is uh, he did it. It's yeah. not like he failed and so many people died. Like, then he'd get in trouble. But, yeah. Another great example of how this story, like, just does stuff where enough, not twists, but how it's like, he's like, I'm going to get in trouble. I could get, like, penalized. And the guy's like, you say people, you did your job, and then like, but then another person comes in, and is like that doesn't matter. He still broke the rules. So like, I yeah, would, I, 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 I keep going, I, I keep thinking like, I'm like, oh, cool, like, no, it's fine. Like, no, it's not fun. Like, yeah. Ah, dang it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's like, it's not fine. And then he's just like, well, actually, it is fine because where were you? And yeah. he's just like, I was like, go off, King. He was oh, yeah. like really telling her off. That was the like the interesting hook because he's like you guys are you got here later than you were supposed to and then they don't say anything like yeah Mm -hmm. what does that imply yeah and yeah how you know yuma isn't just there and just like twiddling his thumbs and he's not this overly comedic character that's doing wacky things to like expose his secrets or or he's being like you know you know how sometimes it just feels like they just these characters they'll do dumb things and and the the character who's trying to keep their secrets like you know, poking them like, not, yeah, not now, you know, and but this felt like he's like, he's just standing up for a wrong that he sees mm-hmm. happening in front of him. And he's like, no, you guys weren't here. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, and he saved people. 
Um, and again, showing so quickly, and maybe I'm freaking crazy, dude, but like showing so quickly who these characters are, the, this A squad. Like I get a good sense for all three of them. Like mm-hmm. the brother, I get a great sense for him, not just as an older brother, but like what his morals are. Like the girl, how she's more complex and not just that she's like, like this like person who's who's a stickler for rules, but is very insecure in like her ability to like be an A rank and like for nobody to like be better than her. And Cause she's younger yeah. than most of them. She's like she's in middle younger. school. Yeah. So she's trying to be like the best of the best. Yeah. And then the other guys just like keeps them both in line. Yeah. 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 Just comes in for like a bit size of thing. Yeah. And you're already like, Oh, that's his role. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the mediator. Cool. This yeah. is the guy. The the level headed like, guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not our job to do this. Is that, <laughs> yeah. that, do we have to file a report and everything? There's no point in talking about it here. Yeah. The voice of reason. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. And again, I, I love the, the character designs of them, too. It's not overly, you know, it's not overdone. They're just they're cool looking characters. The art, you know, I really like the art. It's it's not like it didn't blow me away, but I really, really like the art a lot. The character designs a lot. And I like the way that the neighbors are designed. Again, I just think that this art is great, but its strength is in its writing and its characters. Um, mm-hmm. And just getting a sense for all of them was was really, really cool right away. They basically say what the level-headed guy, the voice of reason says, which is, yeah, we got to make a report, final report. And the guy, the brother, a squad member is just like, yeah, it's just going to be, you know, uh, something that we got to do. You know, it's just going to, it's just going to be real quick. We just file a report. I'll vouch for you. I'll make whatever punishment you get. Not that bad. Um, Because the other girl character is like, we need to set an example because then other trainees are going to think that they can do whatever they want to do. It's like Um, it was a special scenario. Yeah, but yeah. in school. Yeah, it's not like he just like did it in the middle of the schoolyard. I was like, everyone look at me. Like he had to. But had again, to do it. We, we're let in on the fact that she's not just doing it to be that character that does it. Like that she's an insecure person, and that we're given that. So it makes these things that she's doing, which other characters do, it gives it a more uh, validating or a more. Oh yeah, because then the guy goes like, "You're you're jealous that you weren't able to like mm-hmm. yeah save it, the day," and she goes like no yeah yeah he's like you're jealous aren't you and she's like who are you (laughs) yeah who are you (laughs) it justifies how she's being yeah um and even later on when she's like yeah you know when i because the the test is when when she gets there or when they get there is uh the brother character the a squad like leader says like can you could you have done this because they're impressed and amazed at how this guy who's a trainee was able to take down this level of neighbor and uh, she says, like, yeah, I could have done it for sure. <laughs> and then later on, she's like, I don't think I could have done that. <laughs> but she says it like in, in, in privacy, uh, yeah. uh, in private away from everybody else. Which kind of gives the, the glasses guy a cool moment because it's like, well, if an A class wouldn't have stood a chance either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad that Kumo, Kuma, K- Kuga, Yuma Kuga <laughs> yeah. is here. Yeah. 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 Um, that all happens, like you said, he gets this heroic moment, his classmates, you know, are you know, calling him a hero and he's kind of struggling with that and school gets you know, you, out. You could do for someone because like he gets like paper thrown at him and stuff. Yeah. If like he like people are like, Oh, we like you again. He's like, Yeah, this is this is good. And he gets like a paper thrown and he's like, What? And it just says good job. He's like, Oh, uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Or he just gets a paper thrown at him because he's a four highs, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy. Oh, that would be good. That would have been good writing. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I think from a writing stand, when you really, you know, try right. to like step back and analyze right, writing, right. I think that I think that would have been mm. too much. Yeah, but you don't have to step back because you can see things pretty close <laughs> up, right? Yeah, I can see things close, far as long as I you have something to help you. Yeah, I. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? I have astigmatism, and a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have astigmatism. You know what's crazy? I have astigmatism. I believe you. A lot of people don't get it treated because you just get used to it. Well, I, I do have astigmatism, but it's not like it's like you, you know you have twenty. You, know, you have twenty. No, no, no. Astigmatism doesn't mean you need this glasses. Is, this is what act. This is what. <laughs> okay, the, this is what the glasses me. prejudice does to people. People legitimately would rather just not be able to see. I don't need glasses. I you, know, you have a stig. That's what the only thing astigmatism <laughs> is. Astigmatism is when one eye. Has better vision than the other eye. No, it's not. That's what the doctor told me. Are you telling me? <laughs> what doctor? doctor? Was it the eye doctor? It was the eye doctor. The doctor's in on the conspiracy, <laughs> You're right. Josh. The doctor's out. He's of his telling mind. you. Yeah, he's telling you one thing. Astigmatism is like misshapen coronas. Oh yeah, it is that. Yeah, you're right. 
Misshaping Corona sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are they misshaping? She, it's, they get you warped drink, in the, yeah. You, yeah, you drink them and then you go, uh, and you warp the glass. You ever bend okay. a glass bottle? You ever bend a glass I Corona bottle? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In my drinking days. Yeah. 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 That's why yeah. they call them benders. Oh. oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> We're really uncovering a lot of truths. And I really, I'm really having a great time. Get glasses. <laughs> I don't need them. You need them because you have oh, astigmatism. Geez. What's your stigma against them? Oh. I don't want to look. I don't want to look like you. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're not. I am. Because it, when you wear glasses, you become a different kind of person. That's and not you would true. Be, you know how much of my perception in society is based off having glasses growing okay, up? Okay, then get contacts. They're very inconvenient. They're really not. They're As a cosplayer, you have a lot of experience. You have to once you get used them, to them, you, you should know they kind of suck. You, did you have to wear them every day? No. That's different but than mine were for bigger. special events. Mine were bigger than the the standard contact. Yeah, and, they, and they, they're would, not for they're not for a fun special event. They're so I can see without getting headaches. And glasses are not they're they're cool people well, uh, people that no wear cool glasses. people that wear them are cool when they wear them. Right. It's 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 like a it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's a, it's, mm. it's different things. It's a lot of different things that Cody's got going on. <laughs> yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah. Glasses. glasses is one of them. Glasses is sort of like... It's certainly a multiplier to my situation. Yeah, it's Markiplier? a myriad of... No. It's a myriad of things. <laughs> okay. It's um, a myriad pyramid. A myriad pyramid. Don't, no, don't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Did not need to repeat it. No? <laughs> no? I liked it. I did pause, but I had because I had to make sure I liked it. Yeah, yeah. it, was, it was too long of a pause because then it just seemed <laughs> yeah. like you didn't have anything to say. It felt more of a pity thing. Went, yeah. Well, because I was thinking about it. Like I want to be honest, you know, about you know my support. You think about having glasses? Oh no, never. Oh, why don't you get contacts? I don't need them. You do. I don't need them. I have a corona eye. You might need them in like a couple years though. Maybe you know my natural eyes. Your natural eyes it gets better. When you wear glasses. Mm, I don't know. I'll have to do my own <laughs> research. What do you mean you don't know? Mm, I don't know. Um, Science isn't on. out on that Real yet. trigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll look into it. Okay. Will you? <gasps> You'll look into it. I'll look into it. Poorly. Uh, because sure. you have a stigmatism. Sure. I'll look into it poorly. Anyway, the volume is almost done. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is pretty much the last thing that happens. Um, as they're walking, because she's waiting for him outside of class, this jealous... Um, a yeah, she's funny too. Member. She's like, she's don't take a class, pictures. She's a real B. She, oh, oh, I like that. She's, I, I didn't have to pause at all. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. She, uh, she's like, don't, I don't want pictures taken of me. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Too. And they're like, what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like posing. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. Uh, but yeah, she's her dialogue between her and uh, K Kuga, so funny. Yeah, she just lets her have it. <laughs> she's, she's great i mean she's she is a b but i mean her character is great and the dynamic that she has with the other two are great yeah and so she's there to escort him um or really just oversee and make sure that he goes straight to headquarters uh and on their way there another attack another uh you know black hole opens which again is leading me to believe again. So the first one was when the bullies were attacking him. Mm -hmm. The second one was at the school where he was at. And the third one is on the way to headquarters where he is at. Um, and so she reveals what she reveals is that the technology for whatever reason to only allow the black holes to open up around border headquarters is malfunctioning. It's not working. And the engineers have no idea why it's happening, but we don't want to <clears throat> let that leak out into the public. So we're just, and, and also she's saying that like, luckily border agents just coincidentally happen to be close by, um, except for in this case, they weren't. So we've been able to kind of manage it now, you know, with this situation, mm -hmm. it was a little harder for us to manage, but we've been able to keep it quiet. So we need to keep it that way. Um, but anyway, this happens. She goes to defeat the monster. This is an even how more powerful monster or neighbor than the previous two or three that they've already fought. Yeah, this one like drops bombs. Bombs. And like, that was cool crazy. too. That was yeah, cool. He's a, he's a rapper, right? Oh. Or a stand-up comedian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oof. He's bombing hard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Drop um, bombs is like a term for when you do a good lyric, isn't it? Bars. 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 Yeah. yeah. And he's, you know, that's why he's maybe more similar. I don't similar. listen to rap. 
that's why he's maybe more similar to a stand-up comedian oh. because he's uh, he's bombing, you know, all over the city. Um, and, and people are just trying to live their lives, <laughs> you know, <laughs> people are just trying to go to work, dude, unwind. But oh no, it's the comic. <laughs> it's the comic neighbor. Yeah. Uh, uh, and We're so, going to play music here. But also. <laughs> but what if uh, <laughs> I have thoughts? <laughs> I have thoughts on online dating that I have to share. I have to get them out. You, you need to hear this. All of them. Yeah. Because they're sorry. very relatable and they're very funny. Yeah, you're going to It's adorable. It. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm adorable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Follow Sorry. me on Instagram Easy. to see all my adorable. Stop saying that. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate that. Um, powerful monster. Powerful uh, powerful, powerful, explosions. powerful explosions. Powerful characters, truly. And uh, drops bombs all over the city. And so she runs to help. He, our main character, Osamu uh, Mukumo, goes to help. Um, is trying to use his, his, uh, his trigger, but he's used all his try on energy and he can't. And uh, is going to go help anyway. And so him and uh, presumably Yuma and this girl go off to fight this monster in this battle. And that's where the first volume mm -hmm. ends on that on that mm -hmm. cliffhanger, which, like you said, isn't really a cliffhanger, but it was a really cool place to end. It made me want to keep reading. Um, it, it feels like this section of the story isn't over yet. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, I think it goes without saying we all really enjoyed it. But what are your final thoughts sort of on? on world trigger as a whole and, and maybe just the first volume as well. Yeah. I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Um, we kind of like mentioned it was like reminiscent of Kaiju number eight, not entirely, but just some themes and like how fun it was to read. I kind of had that feeling of, um, I don't, I mean, if we get comments about how good the anime is, maybe I'll consider watching it or rewatching it in the sub. Yeah. But as of right now, I, I would much prefer reading it than watching it because it just felt a little like childish mm -hmm. um, to me. A little like like a lot more um, shonen like boy yeah. than the manga mm -hmm. did. Yeah. Um, and I do like how it's not taking itself like way too seriously. Um, sometimes stories like this is just like, all serious, you know, all matter of fact, but it was just kind of like loosey goosey. I liked how the art style was kind of cute at times and mm -hmm. like, you know, Kuga's faces are really funny and like it just felt really warm and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I agree. Cody, what about you? Um, I, I really want there to be more transformation scenes as it goes on because I'm like rediscovering my love of transformation scenes. Yeah. So I, I, I'm excited to see if that's going to get uh, explored. A little yeah. more, especially because it's like, okay, so he has like a black armored suit that he gets and then he gets like a, a, a jumpsuit. So it's like, when do helmets get involved? Yeah. You know, yeah. they're going to be like, you know, they get double swords. They get like you, upgrades. And yeah. Stuff. Based yeah. off the OP in the anime, I kind of, uh, they give a lot of, of that. That was kind of the, the cliffhanger for me at the end was sort of like, oh, so do, do the A class suits like look cooler? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's basically like, oh, if you want to see. Like what it looks like when he's going to be leveled up. Yeah. You're going to have to buy another volume. I'm like, okay. You got me. Right. You got me. Yeah. Red handed. Yeah. I really enjoyed this series. I thought it was, it was, it came as a surprise, whether it should or shouldn't have. It did. It was something I did not expect to enjoy as much as I did. I think it did so many things right. It, you know, it again makes me believe so much more in the fact that a volume one can and and should be capable of accomplishing you know the things that it's setting out to to do and say in just a first volume it it, it had great character moments it had it, it was written very well even though i said the art didn't blow me away i really loved the like you said the silliness of it the comedy not only in the situations but in the facial expressions i thought it was cute but badass but but fun like it was so many things um, and then of course I agree completely with what you said about the anime. Um, I would, I would, uh, I would, I would love to continue it, but probably only reading it because the anime, like you said, it just, it just didn't, I didn't, it seemed like it had a completely different tone than the manga did. Again, if, uh, we, you know, we're told otherwise, I'd love to check it out, but uh, I'm more than happy to continue reading it. I'd love to keep reading it. I highly recommend it. I think everybody listening should check it out, especially if you like, you know, series like Kaiju number eight. There were even like, I, I, I don't know where I'm getting this or why I felt this way, but there were even like little, like the good part. I, I liked Candy Flurry for the most part, 
there was like a lot of the good parts of Candy Flurry I even felt in this um, because, you know, in that series, when the main character was going to school and then that agent was like in school with her and then she had to keep the secret of being a lollipop user and, you know, the secret, the, you know, <laughs> yeah, the spoilers for. Well, it's like a couple chapters and it's a kid's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and, and the, the, that's, I think, shown in the first chapter. Yeah. But either way, um, it was really, really, really good. And it took me by surprise and I highly recommend it. And I think if you haven't checked out World Trigger, do yourself a favor and check it out. And just a reminder to people, if you want it done, which would probably happen eventually anyway, but comment either volume done. Oh, yeah. Or give it all a lot of thumbs up because that's yeah. a, that's an easy voting system for us to just look at either a lot of numbers or a lot of comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would even argue that comments are great and we love to see them, but These I think a, a thumbs up is like, you know, even easier, easier because it's a number, mm -hmm. it's a number uh, that we can use to, to, to base whether it'd be worth doing a volume done on or not. I think anything above like 400 yeah. is usually outside of the norm so then we're like oh for well for sure that yeah mm -hmm. so for now that could change mm. every the day. new the new bar could be 500 600 mm. here's to hoping in 2022 <laughs> oh god it's 2022 in like four days yeah i think Stop. this is coming out in it's already 2022 yeah what the heck what <laughs> the <laughs> Um, but let you let us know what you think <laughs> of World Trigger. If you've read it already, what, what your what your thoughts on the anime are, how to watch it, if to watch it, if you've read the manga, do you like the manga? Any and all thoughts, let us know in the comments down below. And if you want to see a volume done, like the heck out of this video. But that's gonna do it on our discussion of World Trigger Volume One specifically. Um, but we're not done yet. We have to get to our other segment, the Waters Circle, which is the segment on our show where our Beautiful, intelligent, um, you know, sophisticated AI combs through previous videos and your comments that you've left on those videos, <laughs> finds a couple, picks a few of them out, reads them to us, and we react and respond <laughs> to them. So if you want your comment read in a future order circle, all you got to do is leave a comment on this video or any of our previous videos. But with all that said, Volume One, Sean, will you take it away with the first comment, please? <laughs> This one comes from Josh Steinsmetz. Like the name. Volume Redemption is an interesting idea where you go back to a series you didn't like and give it one more volume to try to hook you. Mm. This is a fantastic conversation and comment to address after, you know, Ajin and after World Trigger. Yeah. Because I feel like, and again, we've talked in a previous episode how Ajin, and we said we were going to look into it. We haven't really looked into it yet, but apparently has a, a different writer after the first volume. Um, but just personally me, how I didn't connect with the first volume and again, started to doubt whether I was being too hard on a series by just looking at it from what it did in the first volume and then experiencing world trigger and seeing that that's not the case, that it can be done. And that that's, you know, ideally how it should be done. That, that yeah. goes back to the whole thing where you just, you feel, I mean, if, if a story did a good job introducing mm -hmm. itself to you, why would you not go into that story instead of being like, oh, that story does get better later where you're like well i mean this this just did a better job getting me hooked so i mm -hmm. i want to do that before i'm going to be like oh well i guess i'll take a chance based off recommendations yeah. when i when it there they were both given the same job mm -hmm. yeah this yeah. Th this did it better and i believe it and i trust it so now i can go in expecting to have a good time whereas if they do a bad job why am i why the the, the mindset of being like maybe it'll get better in five volumes yeah is an alien yeah uh, one, world to me it's a neighbor concept yes you. there we go um one of them fit the brief and the other one didn't but i do think that as a concept for a show like a volume redemption is uh, a great idea mm -hmm. and it's something i'd love to do with ajin i think ajin is a special case if that is true that it has a different writer um, but i'd also be willing to try it with a few other series that we haven't been too keen on but there, <laughs> there isn't usually a lot of them no no because all, 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 always at least one of us will connect with it it's very rare that all three of us don't really connect. Yeah, it's only really happened on like, like I probably count on one hand how many times it's happened. Maybe like three times where you've been like, no. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah, it is pretty rare. Um, yeah. But Ajin was a, that was a, that was one people um, were very confused at us at. But I mean. But hey, got to stay honest. Got to stay true to your. Got to stay true. Got to stay grinding. 
Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> that mm-hmm. too. Well, yeah, that's not really relevant to the. Got to stay grinding. But you got. <laughs> but you got to. But you have to. <laughs> but you have to. Yeah, you have to stay grinding. Yeah. Regardless, I mean, that's just an aside. That's just. That's just know. an aside, but it's also very relevant to 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 um staying true and being honest. Is grinding. Mm-hmm. Grinding. Uh, <laughs> speaking mm-hmm. of grinding, volume one, Sean. Um, and by the way, volume one redemption. Love the idea. Taking it, it into consideration. Could mm-hmm. be like an end site. If we had like five volumes or mangas we did. Yeah. It could be like one episode could be like, so did you check in on oh, that? Did you yeah. finish it? Because there are there I know one example where none of us liked the first volume and then Megan liked it later on. Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I liked it. I liked it more than I did when start when I started it, but then I mean, it wasn't much. Like I, oh, I enjoyed okay. it, but talking again yeah, and, and, and watching and, and, it again, I was just like. And I, I, you know, I wasn't planning on having this conversation. Oh, you like it now? No, but I, you know, because oh, what's I wasn't here, necessarily guys? called out for my thoughts on Ajin, um, and how uh, I felt about Demon Slayer and not being willing to give Ajin a second chance after I gave Demon Slayer the benefit of the doubt for 19 episodes. Um, I was in this mood of like, okay, well, I'm willing to give Ajin a second chance. I gave Demon Slayer a second chance and it paid off. I need to, I have to give Jujutsu Kaisen a second chance. And I realized that I had seen um, like 20 episodes. I was going back, catching up. I watched like the 22nd or the, the 20th and like the 21st. And um, I really, really, really am having a hard time caring at all and connecting with that show at all giving it that second chance again and going beyond the 19 episodes that I gave Demon Slayer. It's just not, it's just not happening. Well, also, and I re- in, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, well, just, it's different also when someone in the real world, uh, likes the yeah. series because that's a different thing. I will, uh, cause you like the, uh, Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. Like that's different because I, you don't have someone like, no, keep checking. Out yeah, uh-huh. It's it, that, you know, we don't live in this room. Uh-huh. So, you know, and, there's people that affect stuff, too. Yeah. yeah, and I realized, too, like, Josh was like, oh, I need to catch up. And I realized I was, like, maybe two episodes. I only had two episodes to go. And me thinking, I was like, oh, I'm on, like, episode 16. And I was like, that's the first season? Yeah. Like, I don't, it doesn't, <laughs> I, it's just shot. It's just a weird, it's a weird phenomenon. And it's not just because of the hype. It's not just because everyone's like, it's so good, blah, blah. No, it's just, like, I don't know what it is, but I really tried to Something like Something is, it. like, and I don't mean this as, like, to, to, to just like talk shit about this show to talk shit about it. Like for me personally, as an individual, as Josh, so, watching it feels like something is missing. Like either I'm missing something or the show feels like it's missing well, something. The action is just, awesome. Animation is awesome. Character designs are awesome. But other than that, it's just like. Well, yeah. did, did, do any of the issues we had with um, emotional connection that were, I think we all had that in the first volume, mm-hmm. did yeah. any of that stop happening? Because I think that that's really the, the whole core of the reason no. why, you know, you have the first volume it, it, like it was to establish everything. And that that is what they established. So, like, did your mood change? Did your uh, on your on the characters? Because, like, I had a very negative. I was angry. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get mad if I don't like something. Uh, Especially if everybody else seems to love it, because it, I have frustrated. To, you 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 hit this wave. Of you're like, what's what am I not getting? And yeah. like, what do you talk? Why is this getting praise when like there's other series that like do a better job? And like, why yeah. don't they, those get praise? What is this doing different? And you, you start losing your mind. But like, did any of your issues with the main character change when you like decided to give it another twenty episodes? It was it was you know I even at a certain point had accepted the issues that we had. Um, I accepted them as just being things that this story for whatever reason was going to do. And I even went back into it, not expecting those problems to be resolved, but with a clean slate, like I'm going to accept it for the things that I had an issue with before and go into it, letting it be whatever it wants to be and being open to whatever that Mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And after like forgiving it for those things, it's still just like, it it, it did nothing. It did nothing for me. Um, it, it kind of change, changes, the show kind of changes and the focus of it kind of changes. Um, but again, like the, the villain character, there was one, there's one arc that I think was done really well. And it's the arc with the kid that he goes to school with and, you know, mm-hmm. spoilers, whatever. Mm-hmm. That arc, a couple episodes I was agree. done really well. That was the most heart of the first season I saw. And there's someone being bullied. Yeah. And, and yeah. And the, the, I think I remember someone like showing like look this is like where it goes and i just remember being like 
I don't know that even that still feels like that hit me harder. And, you know, love is war. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that, you know, chunk of episodes um, was good. Which, I, I said love of war. Like I don't love is where I don't like that. But it's that just you like, don't love it. I wore it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he warrants it. It, uh, war it warrants a volume done. As oh, well. yes, it does. We should. Yes, some does. crazy. Some crazy. Well, season three's coming out soon too. So, <laughs> um, but some yeah, cool. so just to uh, you know, really finish, I guess how I feel about it is that yeah, it, it those little ep few episodes are done really well. How it started didn't hook me, and how it ends or is ending isn't hooking me because it's ending on like sort of a battle tournament thing. I that, like the defense. You'll see a lot in jujitsu anytime that it comes up. Is the defense will be it's very popular, and people yeah. will comment. It's the number one selling manga in the world. And I'm like, that, that has nothing to do with any of the issues we said. Yeah, so which, which leads me to believe that it is just a per personal opinion. I mm -hmm. mean, which leads me to believe that it is personal preference because like I have gone beyond, you know, like I said, what I gave Demon Slayer and beyond the point of even like wanting it to, to resolve the things that I had issue with. I, I went in accepting it for what it was and it's still like, I just like characters were doing things and characters were like, fighting each other or, or or had things against each other and i just remember thinking and feeling like wh why don't i care at all I, I, like because emotionally i wasn't attached to any of them and how does it feel that you took that time to like give this series 20 extra chances instead of like either re-watching or like discovering something new or finishing something new you just found out yeah i mean it did it did um i i, I was glad in a in a way i was glad that i tried again but i think you know I, I mean unless i mean i don't know what would have to happen dude for someone to really convince me to keep watching it but i was glad i, I went back and gave it a second third fourth chance but because now i feel more confident in that you can say for sure that it's just not for me <laughs> and i feel way more confident in that and i almost wanted to finish the first season in its entirety out of spite not out of spite, but no. so that I could say that I watched the complete start, middle, and end of the first season, so that I would have, so that it, nobody could could throw back at me. Well, you didn't even finish it. Which the, the anime community is such a good setup for businesses because it's like you can't criticize until you've seen the whole thing and you go, like, <laughs> "All right, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll yeah. sit here and, and just uh, buy all this stuff and watch it yeah. and give it advertising uh, time that it has. You yeah. have to click skip after five seconds. Yeah. Didn't expect to go down that road, but it's a road I'm glad we went down. Um, volume one, Sean, can you hit us with the next comment, please? Beep, 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 boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. This one comes from Maki Ma Supremacy. In regards to Dan to Dan, I think the new character is great, but I could see how some would have negative feelings about him when they compare him to the Ira arc. The jealousy comes up as a comedy, but in this one, however, it comes up more as a drama. I like the character more compared to Ira, especially in the new chapters recently. Also, this arc just gets fucking real. <laughs> you think aliens and yokai are creepy? Bro, you ain't ready for what humans are capable of. Oh. Okay. And that's a and for people who don't know Dan to Dan, there, a lot of uh they they the ghosts are based off humans. So you see like what caused the suffering yeah. to like keep this like spirit in place. And it is like they cover surprisingly heavy topics. Yeah. yeah. And you are like, oh yeah, that I would yeah, I'd be a vengeful spirit too. Yeah, dark, dark oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it does give me a little more comfort knowing that because we got a lot of comments about people and saying that then didn't, didn't wasn't you know losing uh, it wasn't getting worse and well, yeah this is kind of the opposite of it because it's like i think dan had one of the best volume ones and mm -hmm. like I, every part of the story I, I liked and when people said it started dropping off i went like oh that sucks but i kind of don't believe you right because it, it's done such a good job establishing trust and because even if i got told like the second volume starts dropping which it doesn't but i would be like well the first volume i'm already hooked so now like that's when a story to me warrants like giving it second chances when it's already proven itself to you instead of like, no, you keep giving it chances until it proves itself. That doesn't make sense. To yeah. Me. Yeah. 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 Um, more specifically, we've had a lot of other comments say too, that, uh, it did feel like one specific character's introduction was a little heavy handed or was a little obnoxious and annoying, but, but it I, was course corrected and fixed. I read up to that character's introduction mm -hmm. and I had no issues with it and it didn't seem out of place. Yeah. I mean, again, 
I, I think that when you're reading manga on a week to week basis and when you can't see the, the, the whatever's at the end of that tunnel and you're just mm. kind of getting little pieces of it at a time, it might start to feel like it's going down a different route or taking a different direction or it's not living up to what you expect it to live up to because you don't, you're in the middle of it and you're getting it week by week. Um, some also people also said that it felt like the manga could course correct it and tone that character down a little bit more. Well, and now, you know, I de did he course correct it or was that the point of the character? Well, see, arc? we'll never know. I mean, I, I mean, I trust the author and the manga based on what I've read to think that mm -hmm. it was, you know, what yeah, it was intentional. Intended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're right. I think that it's, 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 uh, it's great to know that it's not falling off, that it's not losing it, that it's, but I'm, it's still yeah, great. You met you like, I've been there with, like with Chancellor I was like, I don't know if I like this anymore. Yeah. Until yeah. they're like, oh, okay, I see what they were doing and building up to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's so crazy to, you know, there's so many movies that you could just, like, imagine just watching like 10 minutes of a movie at a time. It could be <laughs> so movies, so many movies that at a certain point you'd be like, what? I hate this movie. Uh, and then because you don't know how it ends or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, can't wait to continue Dan to Dan. So glad to hear it. Um, volume one, Sean, can you this with the final comment, please? This one comes from David Insabella. I never liked Naruto, but now that I know that he's basically Chris Farley, I may have to reevaluate my thoughts on the series. Thanks for that, Cody. Whatever it takes, dude. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, it, whatever takes it takes to get people to give it another shot, you know? <laughs> And if that's what it takes, I thought people would be upset about that comparison. I was, which I genuinely believe that you know I'm not being sarcastic. I genuinely yeah. was like, oh my god, I thought people were going to be mad about it, but there were a couple people that were like, yeah, it works. I mean, <laughs> look, I mean, I wasn't mad at it. I'm a fan. I love the series, and if you can make it easier for people <laughs> to digest and for give something uh, people something else to latch on to, I'm here for it. Whatever it is, now we got to work on. Um, you know, maybe finding that for other series, you know, mm, like uh, what old eighties, nineties comedy yeah, can you like yeah. insert into these characters? Yeah. To really, maybe there's something that you can, uh, you know, like maybe you could do it with Kuro. You can like find something th to compare it to that'll really get people interested. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, funny. Yeah. You mentioned that because I genuinely, you know, I look at the Kuro video every now and then I'm like, yeah. that's 400 views. That's fine. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just get sad. I just do this. I just get sad. I'm like, it's fine. It's a small series. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, it's, and I'm like, okay, you're right. All right. I got to yeah. figure out. Yeah. And how do I trick people into exactly. watching? In, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have a new mission. <laughs> yeah, uh, it'd a new be purpose. Like, it'd be like Sabrina. If you like Sabrina, then it is exactly like Sabrina. Yeah. It's like if Luffy was like, <laughs> it's like if Luffy had like a cat. That's kind of what Kuro is. Okay, I see what you're doing. If, you know, that's <laughs> that's, that's smart. really what I I would say is it's it's sort of smart. the sort of the essence of Luffy. So if you're like sort of the essence If you're like of looking Luffy. for more One Piece, I would actually check out Kuro. If you like One Piece, I think it's safe to say that you'll love Kuro. Could, and I think we would all agree on that as all manga yeah. experts, which we are. Which we definitely are. Um I would agree. I would the agree. Doctor so I'll, <laughs> yeah. is out of his mind. Of his mind. <laughs> I'll try to think of a fake comparison later. Right, a jokey one later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right now, just for people who, and I'll I'll reiterate that. Right, Kuro's uh, kind of like Cujo, but Cujo's scary, and Kuro's scary, but not in the same way. They just sound the same. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hit your elbow. elbow like every other episode. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. How many it's episodes? Always, is it going to take for you to learn? You you're guys you're always, making fun of me. I'm in pain. You're always I'm talking, pain. and you're always and you go. Like, I've been Ow. in pain constantly this entire episode. I feel great. I got a bath, oh. I got a bathtub pillow. Uh, oh, those. Sound I was in good. there for two hours, dude. Those sound fun in practice. Like they sound fun, but it. What do you mean fun? Not in. They seem like <laughs> Relaxa a good idea. Relaxation is fun. Relaxation is fun, but. I don't. They get soggy, and they're sitting in the bath collecting they're bacteria. Waterproof. Yeah, I would assume it would be. Oh, waterproof. waterproof? What do you so mean? So what is it like? Vinyl? I don't think a bath pillow is, is Cody just record? taking a regular <laughs> pillow and putting it in the bath. What is it's it? A a record? I mean the material. Uh, it's spongy. Yeah. And what do you like, mean it gets dirty? You're in a bath. What is, your juices. Well, if I'm in the bath, that bath my water's juices. Dirty. I shower before I take a bath. I'm not an animal. That's a lot of work, dude, and a lot of water. No, I rinse off. I don't like. 
I'm not in there for 15 minutes. I rinse off. I get all the soap, and then I'm done. And then I fill up the bath, and then I'm. It's so it's work. spongy. So it's like memory foam. Yeah, they have so loofahs that are made out of the up. same material. But, it came with a free loofah, but then it's made so- out of the same material. Yeah, probably. Hmm. I don't know. Plastic. Do you wash it? Uh, well, what I do with all things is I like I like get soap and I and I get it and then I rinse it out in the in, okay. the, in the shower. Okay. Well, maybe this is a perfect segue. <laughs> How did that even um, come up? You brought it up. You I always it. find a way to bring a bad How did suit. you guys manage to get that conversation there? How did you manage to squeeze it in? Is <laughs> the real I was question. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised out. you guys even let it happen. Let's squeeze yeah. one out. Well, because I maybe, said squeeze it out. Oh. This is a great way to advertise our bonus Patreon exclusive podcast, oh. Volume One Extra, oh. where we talk about life, where we talk about things that we do um, that include sometimes anime and manga, but sometimes things that just happen in our lives, sometimes movies that we've seen, books that we've read, games that we've played other tv shows that we've seen sometimes uh, stuff where we're like maybe that should be in public that would probably yeah yeah, yeah, yeah some I mean, stuff we probably shouldn't talk about a lot of stuff a lot of shouldn't. things that we shouldn't and we regret talking about mm-hmm. but things we that- put it out there for the <laughs> patreon members <laughs> Which if you, you can think become. Josh overshares here? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait till he's like, oh, this is a private thing. Oh wait, this is behind a price wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Prize wall. Well, it's a, a price. Isn't that what they call it? A price wall. It's a price wall. Yeah, a price paywall. Wall. Paywall. Paywall. Yeah, paywall. Yeah, price wall. Yeah. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> How would they get in on the paywall? Well, if you want to get on the other side of it, if you were like, well, on a scale the on wall, the other side of the border, uh, on the other side of the pay border. border. Yeah, all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash volume one pod and you can do that and get access to all that at our lowest tier. But you can also become a uh, YouTube member and get all the same stuff for about the same price. YouTube takes a little bit more out, so it's a little bit more expensive, but only by a dollar or two dollars max. But you can get all of that um, by becoming a YouTube member, click and join or going to patreon.com slash volume one pod. And really quick, we just do have to thank, speaking of Patreon, our Patreon members, our wonderful, beautiful, amazing Patreon members. Thank every single one of you. If you're watching the video version of this, you can see our names scrolling here. And it it is with everything that I have in me that I say thank you. Um, You are to us, um, you are to us, our neighbors. Our neighbors, um, good neighbors. Our good neighbors. Not annoying Like a good ones. neighbor, pay us our money. You guys our, are there. No, you guys are there. Oh, yes. Right. Uh-huh. Like a good neighbor, you guys are there. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yes. And we appreciate you and we love you <laughs> and your support means the world to us, whether you're a Patreon member or a YouTube member. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um <laughs> But guys, I feel like there's something else that the people need to know. Oh my God, from the border, there comes a new group of people. It's the algorithm neighbors. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh- oh, hello. Um, do you have any uh, spare comments you could give me? I ran out. We got comments? I got comments that just say things like commas and question marks or oh, whatever. Oh, perfect. Voting for duns and stuff. We don't forget to do that. that Even liking. That, what, what do you do with all these comments? That'll though? work. I ran out of all of these, so these will be very helpful for Volume 1's channel. Oh my god, what do they work as for you? They work as uh, tips. Free what? tips, yeah. The, the, for free. It would be crazy not to just do all that. Here's some thumbs up. Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> And thank you. (laughs) I liked it. I was really confused in the beginning, (laughs) but I really started to figure out where it was going. See, the the true art of it is neither of us have a plan going in. Yeah. And then (laughs) I've really grown to love just because I just get to watch them every time. (laughs) They're very stressful. (laughs) It's not enjoyable to it. As a spectator, love it. It's just better than saying the same (laughs) thing every time. It is. It is. Um, But thank you for your support. No matter how you choose to show you, whether it's by liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, Patreon member, no matter how you choose to do it. Thank you for your support. It means the world to us. Um, That's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is to get out of here on our outro. That's always the same. It never changes, which today is. I'm triggered. Love it. Yep, and I think we found it because we always have the same outro. Yeah, it's weird that we have to brainstorm when it's the same thing. We always forget. We are, The government always... Oh, my oh God. Oh, yeah. my God. Don't bring it up again. Erases our memory. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, I'm, I'm triggered. triggered. My neck. You know what's in pain? Your eyes. Oh, yes, they are. And people are, not getting glasses. people are in pain. Oh my god.
God.